This is just a dad's dream come true, you know? So my name's Andy Phillips. I'm from Sandy, Utah, and uh, I work in real estate. As an athlete, I've had the opportunity to ski race professionally, also play NFL football. Love being a dad. Wish I could do that full time. That's, that's my favorite thing. My name is Max and I live in Sandy. I've been a beekeeper for three years. My name is Gus and I live in Sandy, Utah. We've had a really good flow this spring and summer. We're gonna take out these two middle ones. Ready? One, two, three. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of honey. You don't even get disturbed by this, that's why it's so awesome. My experience with Flow Hive and, uh, and beekeeping has been incredible. Uh, the simplicity of, of harvesting honey, um, as well as the mission of Flow Hive, you know, really attracted me to it. And the Flow community has just been super supportive, and I've been able to find, you know, answers to all of my questions. Is that one good? Oh yeah. A, a hive is such a phenomenon, and to be able to just dissect it and how it, a hive works and how it functions has, has changed the way that I view life. As a ski racer, you know, it's, it's standing in the start gate, you're about to kick out and your mind just kind of goes numb and you just, you go unconscious and kind of let your instinct take over. You know, as a, as a field goal kicker, you're kicking in a stadium in front of 100,000 people and, um, you know, all eyes are on you and obviously a tremendous amount of pressure with beekeeping. You're, you're surrounded by 20 to 40,000 bees and, um, you know, one mistake and, you know, you find yourself stung or, you, you know, you could really mess up the colony. And so um, there's an amount of pressure there, but at the same time, as you become one with it, uh, you appreciate the flow of the process and you start to become relaxed in that environment. That's when you can really excel and it's the same thing in sport. So the advice I'd give to someone getting started is, you know, jump right in, learn as much as you can, get yourself a mentor that's been through the process and has made the mistakes and can teach you and, and get you started on the, on the right foot a few steps. My favorite part of beekeeping is involving my kids. For me to be able to teach my kids about bees, um, how they function, how they work, how they live, the curiosity of children, it's just been a really, really cool experience as a dad. You can see the Empire State Building and there's just the bees, the sunset, New York. It made this city really feel like home. <laughs>